Welcome back to Thionite Plays Stardew Valley Expanded. I have stuff to do today, and it starts off by talking to our lovely wife. Oh, choosing which manga to read. I'm getting a sense of deja vu from this conversation, Sophia. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm getting real deja vu. Give me my kiss and let me leave my house. I should buy more manga soon. There's a great bookstore in Zuzu City. We can make a day of it. Not today, though, because it's raining outside. I hope you have a fantastic day. What is the status on the cheese? This cheese is, well, most of it is done, but, you know, a lot of it isn't. Well, not a lot, but. Anyway, oh, it's still raining, which means the berries. Uh, I'll get them later tonight, probably. Today, I want to do a very specific thing, and it all revolves entirely around the fact that I have a very specific amount of geodes and treasure troves in my inventory. I have done something a teensy tiny bit questionable in Stardew Valley Expanded in this series. I used a third-party tool. I used an external tool to find out information, and information is very important. And based on the very specific number and position of geodes that I have, you might be able to guess. I used the Stardew Valley save predictor so I could figure out which geodes I needed to get so I could get the very last four, uh, where are they, minerals and uh, gemstones that I needed. Of the four that I needed, this one is the Alamite, this one is Pyrite, this one is Tiger's Eye, and this is a Lemon Stone. These are the very last minerals I need to complete the entire collection in the uh, the museum. And the reason why I used the Stardew Valley save predictor, uh, hold on, let me just let me just get started because we will be here for a while. The reason why I used it is because of a very specific reason. Um, with so many items in the pool, it would take a very long time if I wanted to get all of those four very specific things in any way, shape, or form easily. If I did, that is to say, if I didn't do what I did, I would be just grinding geodes until I happened upon a good luck day or whatever and, you know, managed to find them. But... But I'm not going to resort to that because we would be here for ages otherwise. So what the Stardew Valley Save Predictor does is allows me to simulate the RNG of Stardew Valley and figure out what events are happening. So if I press this one more time and actually do... Oh, I need more money. Right, money. That's a thing. Uh, right. Anyway, I can show this off. That is the alamite that I needed. That is one of the pieces of the minerals that I needed. Uh, the save predictor allows me to simulate the RNG of any given day of Stardew Valley, and one of the features of it is you can use it to see what geodes are going to contain what mineral or item or ore or rock or stone or coal or what have you. Whatever item is going to come out of a given uh, geode or golden coconut or treasure trove will be available to you in the knowledge. So I use the tool to figure out exactly the amount of artifacts that I would need to break in whatever order I need to get the four I needed. So before I broke open those normal geodes, before I broke them open, I was at a grand total of 350 geodes that I had broken in the past like cumulatively across the entire series. So the very first one that I got, the Alamite, I needed to break open an additional uh, like 13 or 12 or whatever. I needed to get to 363 total. Breaking open the 363rd geode gets me the Alamite that I needed. The next one I'm going to get is the Pyrite at 378 from a frozen geode so to get there i need to break 14 artifacts troves and then the next one i break the frozen geode will get me the pyrite that i need and then once i break six more artifact troves or well after that i need to break 51 additional frozen geodes then six more artifacts troves and then the magma geode which gets me the tiger's eye at a total of 436 and then the final lemon stone i'll get by doing an <clears throat> Oh, excuse me for that. Excuse the, the terrible voice. I need to break an additional 17 geodes and then one final magma geode for the lemon stone. So, 
Otherwise, if I didn't do this, we would be here breaking Omni Geodes until the end of time, until I got lucky enough to do this. So I'm going to go back to the house really quick, get a bunch of stuff to sell to Pierre, because I need money for stuff regardless. I'm probably going to get uh, the jelly in the shed and sell that. And then I'm going to use that money to uh, break open all of these and buy some stuff from Pierre. I need to get, I need to get um, a lot of the flour for fresh baked bread for Key's Cuisine Quest. So I'm going to take care of that really quick. I'm going to... Uh, right, I brought these chests because I'm going to store an additional amount. Uh, all of the extra items that I acquire, I'm going to store in here. And that is going to be the plan for the first bit of the day. It's not going to be the entire day because time freezes quite a bit during this process. So I'm going to... Uh, get some money, break open the rest of these geodes, and I will come back and show off our wonderful completed museum collection when that is done. And from the 52nd, well, the first frozen geode, we get the pyrite that we very much needed. Fantastic. Let me put the rest of this stuff that we got from the treasure troves into our treasure chests. We got some uh, golden relics. M mainly, we're going to use these for, like, gifts. We're going to give them to Gunther. Not pe to display for anything, but to uh, raise his happiness, because we still need to work on that. We will work on that until the end of time. We also got a golden pumpkin, which is wonderful for us. Give, give me that sweet, sweet pyrite. Perfect. Now for... 51 more frozen geodes, 6 more artifact troves, and then I'll see you for the magma geode. After 3 tons of frozen geodes and a veritable mountain of treasure troves, we are finally breaking open the penultimate magma geode to get our wonderful tiger's eye. Absolutely incredible. More gems to put away, more artifacts to put away, and more things to break open. Give me another second and we will catch up for the very last magma geode. Oh, I cannot wait. And so, here we are on this monumental occasion where I shall break the very last, the final geode I will ever willingly go to Clint to do. Despite all evidence to the contrary, this was the most efficient route to get these last four minerals that I could possibly do. Because of the way the randomness of Stardew Valley works, some of the uh, the necessary minerals that I got, the pyrite and the tiger's eye specifically, they were conflicting on the same geode breaking open reward type thing. Essentially, it's like, say for an example, on geode 380, I could either get a pyrite or a tiger's eye from a normal geode or a magma geode, respectively. And since I can't break open two geodes on the same one, I had to choose. So because that happened like three separate times and across all of the tables, I had to go for like an extra hundred plus geodes or however many. It was an obscene amount of geodes that were not necessary if I had just got them slightly more staggered in the, uh, the random rolls. But uh, anyway, break this open. Oh, the lemon stone. The final thing. We have our wonderful pyrite, our wonderful tiger's eye, our final lemon stone, and two alamites, because the alamites repeated an extreme amount. I could have gotten, like, seven alamites over the course of the entire thing if I wanted to, which I did not. But these are the last four minerals that we need to complete the entire museum collection, and isn't that absolutely fantastic? Let's just drop all of this wonderful stone off. I only needed two extra things from this chest, or, well, no, four, because I had all of that. But we got a lot of stuff. We got wonderful amounts, a copious amount of minerals and, you know, ore. Not really necessary, but pretty cool, pretty cool. Let us go immediately to Mr. Gunther. Wait, I also have to give him a gift, because why would I ever want to do anything else? He may have, does he like the golden masks? Hmm, or the dwarf computer. I think he likes the dwarf computers. I'm going to give him a dwarf computer, because why the heck not? Hello, Penny. I wish I had an emerald, but I didn't get any. Gunther! Gunther! Computer! What an inquisitive gift, thank you. You may now do, uh, well, you can pull a chimpanzee and write the entire Iliad-Odyssey combo using that ancient dwarvish computer. Anyway, donate to museum. Please donate these wonderful final last four minerals. I will put all new reward, 
New reward, put the tiger's eye, put the lemon stone, put the final alamite. New achievement, a complete collection. That is the very first time I have ever completed the Stardew Valley Museum. This is a big moment for me. I'm extremely proud of this. That's pretty cool. Really, really cool. What are my rewards? A star drop and a crystallarium. Cool. Oh, the mysterious fruit that empowers those who eat it. The flavor is like a dream, a powerful personal experience that difficult to describe to others. 250 energy, 112 health. Give it to me straight into my stomach. Oh, Gunther, you are absolutely a gem among human beings to give me such an illustrious and awesome gift. Oh, that is nice. You found a star drop. It's strange, but the taste reminds you of mints. Your maximum energy level has increased. Awesome. Absolutely incredible. Gunther, thank you so much for that. That is a long time in the coming. Long time coming. Nice. Awesome. Fantastic. The museum is complete. I never have to worry about getting minerals or artifacts or going to Clint ever again. It's all, that is a monumental moment for the playthrough and the series and for me because that's the first time I've ever done it which is very, 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 very good. It's raining today, which means we have to get one fish, one very specific fish in the mountain lake. Well, not the legend. It's not the legend, believe it or not. There is a fish known as a frog, which seems counterintuitive because frogs are amphibians, not fish, but I need to catch one anyway. So, the frog, according to the list, the wonderful list that I have, the frog is in the mountain lake, from 6 p.m. to 2 a.m., which means I'm not doing this right now because I have forgotten that detail, but it has to be raining. So we will back, be back for the fish later. But that does not mean we are not doing anything else today because we still need to do a bunch of fishing, I think. I think we should be good on the fishing. Or, well, not on the fishing, but I think there are three other fish that I have access to currently. I need to get, what are they? Ooh, the butterfish. The butterfish is the first fish that I would like to get. And I do believe, I do believe you can find that, according to the list, on Shearwater Bridge at 6, 6 to 2. So essentially all day. So hopefully we're going to find that butterfish because I do need it. So let's fish for a bit and hopefully we'll catch some of that uh, wonderful uh, dairy fish. Because, man, I can't wait to s spread some of this fish on my pancakes because it's made of butter. Are you the fish that I need? And if we fortuitously happen to get our hands on some puppy fish, I will probably give those to Sophia because she loves the puppy fish. You're a rather erratic one. Come on now, you are not nearly as hard. You're not even as hard as the legend, let alone the gem fish. Get in my pocket. Get in my pocket. What are you? You're a puppy fish. Nice, more gifts for Sophia at the very least. Hopefully, because it's raining, there isn't, you know, some kind of conflicting weather requirement. I don't think that's the case because I wrote the word all next to the butterfish, so I can only assume that it's all weather, so it should be fine. Catfish. Oh, lovely. All right, give me a second while I do some fishing in Shearwater Bridge, and we will uh, make the most of this day. We also have to pay a visit to Emily at some point because it is her birthday. It's not the highest of priorities because... I'm fairly certain we're already max friendship with Emily, but if I remember it, I will definitely go over there. Oh, wonderful shads. What did we get? Wow, two bits of bait. I am extremely grateful. Thank you, river gods, for granting me more bait. All right, let's get this butterfish. All right, I'm back. I just checked the wiki because I, I had a feeling the rain might be a conflicting weather event, and that is absolutely correct. That is a, I need to be in sunny weather for the butterfish to spawn. So I'm glad I checked because otherwise I would have wasted the entire day fishing for a fish that I could not catch, which is a bad thing because I don't want to waste a day. We'll probably catch it tomorrow and if not tomorrow in the summer because it is a summer fish. The next fish that I want to get today before hopefully, hopefully I want to get two more fish before we need to go catch a frog. There is one in the secret woods that is called a grass carp that I believe I can catch. So that is definitely the goal at the moment. We're not gonna worry about these slimes or these trees because we don't need hardwood for anything at the moment. And it's unlikely that we will, but it's definitely a possibility, so. Anyway, fishing in the secret woods. Hopefully, 
I did check the wecky for the other fish, and I should be able to catch them in rainy weather, so that hopefully won't take too terribly long. We're looking for grass carps. More green fish for us. Get in my pockets. That is a wood skip. That is not the fish that I need. As increasingly rare, well, not increasingly rare. Sometimes I speak words that have no relevance to the conversation. Wood skips are cool fish, but they're not the fish that I need. Go, future me, bring us straight to the grass carp, unless, unless this fish is the grass carp, in which case, I don't know, this one's not moving. Maybe it's a minnow. Show us what this one is. No, it's just a normal carp. I need you to consume a bit more, you know, green grass there, carps. Is this one a grass carp? If this one isn't a grass carp, this is probably a normal carp. Then future me can take us away. All right, you have our permission, future me. Take us to the proper carp. And there it is, the wonderful grass carp. Into my inventory and some wild bait. Very nice, very nice. The next fish on our list for today is down in the western parts of the forest. And we are after for today, what is it called? A king salmon from 5 p.m. to 5 a.m.? Starting at 5. No, wait, 6 to 8. Never mind, that's, that's an S, not a 5. I'm an idiot. I can't read my own writing, apparently. It's uh, 6 a.m. to 8 p.m., so... If we can't catch it by 8 o'clock, we are out of luck for today, but we should be able to catch it. Where? Ugh, fine, just... Oh my god, go, get past. We need to go over there. Where are my... I have speed eels. We're not going to have a lot of time for this, unfortunately, because I cannot maneuver through the forest. Where are my fishing rods? Okay, so there should be a body of water right around... Ugh, grass, why, why? Why, why is there grass in a forest? Who put grass in my forests? We're only going to have like two hours to catch this, and that's not going to be enough. That's not going to be fast at all. Anyway, let's see what kind of fish are in here. We're looking for king salmon. Hopefully that's relatively quick and easy and painless to get, unlike the grass carp, because that took a hot minute. Let's see. Let's do, let's do like three fish. Let's do three fish before future me takes it away. So this is number one. What a... Oh, just come on, then. I don't even care about the chests anymore. Oh, wonderful catfish. I suppose that. I suppose that's a, a downside of doing this in the rain, because everywhere I fish, we have stupid catfish, and that's going to be a problem. Anyway, once it hits eight o'clock, when the king salmon are out of. Oh, come on. I think this. This is definitely. Well, it's. I mean, I don't know the behavior of the expanded fish, so this could be a king salmon, but I don't. I think this is just a catfish. Yeah, I'm familiar enough with, with the difficulty of catfish, so that's probably not a concern. Anyway, if this takes if this takes us past 8 p.m., we're going straight to the frogs, because I need to get to the mountain lake to get the frogs. And that's, um, what is the time on the frogs? Hold on, hold on, let me check the list. Frogs are, uh, from 6 to 2. Oh, it's a Dorado, interesting. Anyway, so it's 6 p.m. to 2 a.m., so we'll be fine on that, so. Uh, right. We'll do one more, because I've lost track. Is this the king salmon that we desire? Probably not. No, it isn't. More catfish. Anyway, all right, it's 7 o'clock. Future me, take us away to our failure or the mountain lake, depending. And I believe that's the king salmon, the very next fish that I talked about. Very nice. The king salmon, a huge salmon, distinguished by its large scales. 200 energy. Very nice, very nice. What does the grass carp say? A large herborv herbivorous fish. It's a herbivore. I've never heard it pronounced as herbivorous. Interesting. You learn a new word every day that prefers deep forest lakes with abundant vegetation. Very cool. It is uh, near 8 o'clock, so I'm glad we got that last fish. Let us take a teleportation totem back to the farm, where we can get to the mountain the mountain lake pretty easily. So let's just uh, go straight over there and see what cool fish we get. I really want those frogs, because they are the coolest fish. Because, well, I mean, they lay eggs. So if that's taught me anything, then it's a fish, because anything that lays eggs are fish. 
like like birds. They're fish. Oh, the very first cast, a wonderful frog. The wonderful, most delicious creature. It's very slimy and apparently extremely toxic. I think the French, with their propensity to eat frog legs, are uh, toxic immune because, you know, frogs, they're apparently poisonous. Well, would you look at that? I believe, honestly, that there's a recipe that includes frogs for, like, frog legs or something. I believe that's where I'm thinking of. I think Marlin sells the recipe, or someone sells the recipe. So I'm gonna get I'm gonna get a second frog and hope we can do that relatively quickly. It was an easy catch to get, so let's see. Is this another frog? No, that's a minnow. There's no way that that was a frog. The frogs are relatively difficult to catch if you don't have green algae in your pockets, because why would you ever get fish when you can get algae? Come on, just give me one more frog. I really doubt that this is a frog, but I'll catch it anyway, because why the heck not? Oh wait, it's a wood it's a bullhead. I need to do I need to harvest the plants on the farm. I can't do like two rainy days in a row. So I'm not going to get another frog because I hold on. Is it in is it in let me check the where is my fish? Uh, right, we got, this is the start of the expanded fish. So we got the bonefish, the bull trout, the butterfish. The butterfish is, we'll get tomorrow. The kitty fish, when do I get the kitty fish? Kitty fish. Why is the kitty fish not on the list? I will have to rectify that later. It is not on the, not on the list. And then the void sam, the void eel. The void salmon, the void eel. That's in the witch's shop. We'll probably do that tomorrow as well. In the meantime, I'm going to pick these vegetables and these fruit with the last remaining bit of time, and uh, hopefully we can uh, make that work for us, because we need to get those slime berries inventory full. What the heck? All right, let me take care of all this nonsense. 1,576 total Salal berries. That is a lot of Salal berries. 81,000, 81,000, 81,000, 81,000, 81,000. That's a lot of numbers to add up, which I'm not capable of doing on the fly because I'm an idiot. Anyway, it's 1120. We have some time left, and you know what that means? Putting the kegs in the shed because I haven't done that yet. Oh, and I forgot to do the crab pots. I still need to do the crab pots. Uh, let me do them. I can just put them straight outside. I will put a crab pot in this pond there, that there, and, you know, one right there. And then I will have our wonderful uh, bait crafting station thing there. It'll allow me to get a bunch more bait, so that's wonderful. I'm going to put a bunch of kegs all down in here. All of the kegs have been placed, and it's 1.30. Will we pass out at the foot of the bed, or will we actually make it into the house? It's entirely unlikely that we'll actually make it into the house. Although, if we can get inside, ooh, just barely. We might, we might, if we're fast, if we're fast, we might be able to make it into bed with the calming sounds of the night market. Oh, no, I mean, we technically passed out in, in bed. Technically, oh, we snapped to bed, so maybe, maybe Sophia just kind of dragged us into bed. We can only hope. Oh, I forgot Emily's birthday, but I mean, it's Emily. She'll absolutely understand. That's unfortunate. Anyway, it's the last day of spring. It's the last day. Oh my gosh. That's awesome. Sophia, my darling wife, how are we doing? I actually got presents for you. I've got presents. Where are they? I have puppy fish. Wonderful puppy fish. Come here. Come here, my darling wife. How was your morning today? And then how is the cheese? What happened to spring? It's already gone. Oh, trust me. Time moves at an incredible pace. We should go to the beach this summer. Oh, I have my own private island if you would like. Oh, my darling wife, I love you so much. This is one of my favorite things. I'll always treasure it. I need to build you a fish pond for those at some point. I have a feeling you'll really appreciate that. The cheese is still not done. We'll worry about that... Yeah, at some point. Not right now, though. And of course it's not raining, and now the Junimo have no job. I've put my Junimos out of a job. Not gonna worry about that. What I am going to worry about is the stuff in here. So, uh, clean up, clean up on Isle Greenhouse, please. Everything clean and fresh. Awesome. Awesome. I cleaned out the greenhouse of the stray crops that we don't need for any future 
endeavors. I got rid of all of the green bean plants and the slime berry seeds, that's what they're called, because we don't need them at the moment. We have a grand total of 61,000. I, well, uh, monetarily worth 61,000. We have like a thousand slime berries, which is a fair amount of slime berries. I'm very glad to have that amount. Uh, unfortunately, we didn't get a final haul of um, strawberries, but that's fine. I'll put the uh, the bait in there. The reason I, I brought out the, um, the crab pots is because of, let me show it off. Uh, where are they? These things, uh, the crab, the cockle, mussel, shrimp, oyster, and lobster. If you pick them up yourself for like the cockle and the mussel and the oyster, uh, it clearly doesn't count. And so I believe you need to get them from the crab pots. So I'm probably gonna catch them in the crab pots and then move said crab pots around so I can get all of the things that I need for that because I will need to get them eventually. And that's why I have the crab pots. I'll probably buy more from Wiley at some point because that would be the easiest way to get more. But until that day comes, I'm not going to worry about it. What I am going to worry about is Key's Kindness. I need to give out 10 love gifts and then Key's Cuisine, which is $100,000 worth of freshly cooked items. So I'm probably just going to make a lot of bread. Is uh, right, this stuff is finally ready. I can, I, I don't have to dip into my reserve stock of jelly because that's what I needed to do to get the 200000 dollars I had, or well, needed for Key's Cuisine. Give me the rest of this and then what are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? Right, we need to go do the gifts. We need to go, I only need to give 10, so that should be relatively easy for me to do. And then, right, gifts, cooking, I need to go get gifts for people. I need to go to Pierre to buy a bunch of flour. And then I need to go fishing for the butterfish because it's a nice day out. And then, yeah, those last three things. Fishing, gifting, cooking. Robin, oh, Susan, hello. That's very convenient that you're here. I have fresh baked pancakes for you. Looks delicious, thank you. You're very welcome. Demetrius, I also have very moldy old strawberries. It's good for experimentation. I'm glad you can enjoy it. Robin, I also have something for you and it's not an item, it's a job. I need you to construct me a deluxe coop because that would be the most convenient of things. Wood and stone and we have more than enough money for this. Select the big coop to upgrade. This will allow me to upgrade our coop scenario, settings, odd words that don't fit. It'll allow me to get ducks and rabbits, which, well, I mainly need the ducks. I don't necessarily need the rabbits, but you know, I need the ducks more than I need the uh, the sheep. So coops are the priority. I'll start working on it first thing in the morning. That's awesome. Robin, thank you so much. Do you, where is Linus? Linus should be around here somewhere. I have a coconut for the man. Linus, are you still in your tent or are you elsewhere? Linus, 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 you're by the lake it looks like. Where exactly, oh, there you are, perfect, perfecto, coconuts, wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Uh, who else is around, who else is around? I need to find Haley, Sam, Kent, and then probably the kids, I have grapes for Vincent. Right, I need to give all these gifts to people because that is the goal. That is the goal, and then while we're by Pierre's, I also think I have an amethyst, I can give the amethyst to Abigail. Oh, a cutscene with George. Praying to Yoba there, George. Devout man. Very good on you. Hey, Din. You caught me in the middle of praying. Hmm, good. I don't normally get this close to the altar, but I've had a bad day and I need some guidance. Well, maybe, maybe talking about it, maybe I can lend an ear, offer advice. Uh, yeah, although, if, uh, I believe, hmm, it might be a bit of a personal thing. Might be a bit of a personal thing. I'll, uh, sure, I'll just be silent. I don't know what the correct answer for this is. I'll just stare awkwardly at you. I got bad news from Harvey. Oh, that's not good. What's it about? I've had more pain than usual in the mornings, but I didn't think it was a big deal. Evelyn forced me to visit the clinic a few days ago. Harvey found cysts that are a result of cancer. Oh, that is very bad news. That is... Oh, that's not something I can help with, is it? I can do a lot of things, but I, that's beyond me, unfortunately. I think it might even be beyond my dino pants. 
I told Evelyn and Alex. They didn't take the news too well. Evelyn said we'll find the best surgeon in the Ferngill Republic to remove them. I mean, if you're not above taking a bit of a generous donation, I could, I could afford, I could afford to help. I, I could absolutely. Harvey also recommended some specialists in Zuzu City. Man, I'm so sorry to hear that, George. To tell you the truth, I'm scared, Dan. Anyone would be. Anyone would be. In times like these, I can only find solace in praying to Yoba. Well, we can only hope that those prayers are answered. Yoba has helped me before when I asked for it. I'm confident Yoba will lend me the power to get through this. You'll be in my thoughts and prayers as well. Praying won't make it better. That seems like the very wrong thing to say. You have friends and family here to support you all the way, George. Me, Alex, Evelyn, everyone in the town. Everyone in the town would absolutely come and support you. We both know I haven't always been friendly in the past, but, I can't, but a kind word means a lot to me right now. I am a fount of all kinds of compassion. It's just who I am. It's who I am for my friends, George. I'm going to pray for a little longer. I appreciate you stopping by and talking with me. Anytime, my friend, anytime. I'll leave you to it. I'll let you uh, get back. Back to the prayers. You'll be in mine. Pierre. Oh, Kent, hold on. Pierre, hold your horses. Where is your daughter? Abigail, I have rock. Eat it in front of your mother. Really freak her out. Oh, right. Abigail, or uh, dang it, I completely forgot. Well, I mean, I didn't completely forget, but if I... If I had gone into Caroline's place before, I could have gotten a tea leave yesterday as well as a tea leave today and uh, finished off the green tea bundle as well as the tea leaf bundle. Well, not bundles, but the things that I needed. Um, Kent, roasted hazelnuts, that's what I have for you. Here you go. Mom used to give me this when I was a young boy. It brings back wonderful memories. You're very welcome. Glad I could offer uh, a taste of nostalgia. Anyway, Pierre, I have a giant order of things that I need. I, I need a lot of wheat flour because I'm going to make an absolute metric butt ton of bread. I need to buy 1,667 bits of wheat flour, so give me un momento while I purchase out Pierre's entire stock of wheat. I got distracted and bought a bit more than I needed, but that's fine. We have some extra wheat now. That's a bit... Everyone out of my way. Uh, I'm being I'm being sandwiched by Abigail and Susan. Please, remove yourselves from the premises. Pierre, you need to expand your doorways. Uh, Krobus, that's the next dude on the list to give things to. Krobus. 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 I have eggs. I have an, a wonderful egg in this very much not trying time because it's not a trying time. Because we're friends and I have eggs for everyone. It's an amazing gift. I'm glad you love it. How close are we now? Keys kindness. Four more. Awesome. Who do we have? Where is Vincent? Vincent is... Vincent is in his house as well as Sam. Oh, there is Sam. I have cactus fruit for you. Cactus fruit. Vincent, hold up. Hold up, Vincent. Vincent, get back here. I have fresh grapes. Well, I'm not sure how fresh they are at this point, but I'm glad you like them regardless. Is, uh, is Haley home in her house? Oh, Emily, I'm so sorry I missed your birthday. Do you know where your sister is? Where is... Where is Haley? Oh, she's up by the community center. I can stop by there at some point as well. I need to go to Gunther and then give him a dino egg. And then I have another void egg for Morgan. Is Scarlet around? She probably doesn't work on Sundays. That's fair, if I'm being honest. Very, very fair. Oh, oh, Elliot's book reading. I completely forgot about this. Elliot, I'm so sorry. I'm glad you're doing uh, repeat performances. Otherwise, I'm, 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 yeah, I'm so sorry. I've been really busy at the close of the seasons, doing a lot of stuff for my radioactive friend. I'm sure you understand. Din, you made it. Yeah, by the skin of my teeth and completely accidentally, but don't tell anyone that. I feel so relieved to be done with my book. It's like an elephant's been lifted off my shoulders. I absolutely understand that pressure. Well, I mean... From other perspectives, I've never written a book myself, but you know, I, I get I get the elephant being removed from the room because that's typically where elephants lie. Well, I'd better get started with the reading. Wish me luck. Good luck, Elliot. I have absolute faith. You're gonna do just fine. Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon, Mr. Elliot. Everyone says that exactly at the same time, so it's just like one solid voice that echoes endlessly into the museum's collection. Ever since I was a young boy, I've dreamt of becoming a writer. 
When the time came for me to leave home and start my own life, I moved here. I was drawn to the peaceful beauty of the valley and hoped that days of quiet reflection in this idyllic atmosphere would fan the literary flames. After countless hours scribbling at my writing desk, I present to you my first novel, The Rise and Fall of Planet Yazo. It's a sci-fi epic spanning thousands of years in an exotic planetary system. Oh, I do love sci-fi. Chapter 1. Commander Yutkin stepped through the golden archway as the airlock snapped shut behind him. Today was his first day on planet Yazo, and all 14 of the Alliance delegates had been summoned to the Grand Spire. Oh, I wish, I wish we could read this. And as the seventh moon descended beneath the horizon, the planet of Yazo would begin its sinister transformation, an event for which Commander Yutkin was completely unprepared. Is that it? That concludes your reading? You're going to leave it on a cliffhanger, Elliot? I'll be selling signed copies of the book by the front desk. I have 60,000. How many signed copies can I get for 60,000 gold, Elliot? I need to support my friends, and I will give me that book. Thanks for listening. You're very welcome, Elliot. It's what I do for my friends, as long as I can remember the events. Uh, it's missing birthdays, missing events. Mm, how was it? Oh, I was enthralled the entire time. Absolutely engaging, riveting, and fantastic. The syntax, the vocabulary, the grammar, it was all perfectly flawless, and it flowed from one word to the next in a gentle river flow. That's probably not a good analogy, but you're the writer, not me, so, you know. I got the idea for making a sci-fi book from you, do you remember? Very vaguely, from a million years ago, it genuinely seems like a lifetime. That's why I've dedicated this book to you. Oh, Elliot, you're you're a gem. You're a doll. You're awesome. Thank you so much, Elliot. I need to buy one of his books now. Gunther, thank you so much for hosting the uh, the book reading. Have this egg. I uh, I love giving out eggs to my friends because everyone loves the eggs. Awesome. The last one we need to do. Oh, while we're over here, let's get that butterfish really quick because we're right by here. Oh, my strawberry seeds. They didn't sprout any more strawberries. Oh, a cutscene with Victor. How unexpected. It's probably because I never come over here when it's, you know, sunny out. It's like I, the first time I've been over here in like three months and it's like a downpour. Uh, utter deluge. Hello, Din. Visiting Shearwater Bridge, I see. I need to pick up some butter. Fish. I heard rumors of the mutated fish that are, are extremely good on pancakes. It was at Susan's behest, if I'm being honest. I'm doing some calculations on its structural integrity. It was a build... It was a bridge built... I, by Da Vinci? He made good bridges, didn't he? This bridge was built 40 years ago. Okay, probably a bit after his time. And at the time, it was a triumph of engineering. Really? It looks like it's made of haphazardly placed stones. Bridges fascinate me. They're so simple, but can have so much impact on people's lives. I've built models for a few famous ones. London Bridge. Tower Bridge? I don't know that one's name. Anyway, someday I want to build something on this scale. So you're a bit of an architect, I see. There's a bridge engineer in Grampleton. His name is Ralph. When he needs help, I assist him with his work to get hands-on experience. Well, that's good. A bit, a, a bit of a on-the-job learning as it was. Very nice, very nice. The physics and mathematics that go into bridge construction need to be absolutely flawless. Otherwise, they just collapse. Even a tiny mistake in a single calculation could lead to a major catastrophe. You wouldn't want something like a car or a train or some kind of, you know, like a, a drawbridge to have a flaw and then collapse and really ruin a lot of people's days. That would be bad, admittedly. Unless, of course, we pull, you know, like a, a 180 in a boat and like clog the entire river. That would be, that would be pretty cool. I'm returning to my residence, need to run these calculations on my computer. I have a supercomputer back home, it runs on quantum computing, and it's, you know, the only one in this side of the Ferngill Republic, so I'm very proud to have it. I host a lot of uh, external processing out to a bunch of different people. Anyway, it's been a pleasure speaking with you, Din. It's been a pleasure speaking with you as well, Victor. Like I said, I'm only here for the butter. I really, I really need to get that butter. Uh, horse, please. I need to get a new hat for you, because that, the, the, this one. Language, please cooperate. Please cooperate. It doesn't work. Hopefully we'll be able to get that butterfish, and not a single, single catfish, because it's not raining and I don't want to do 
catfish anymore. Uh, this one is all day, I believe. Hopefully, we can get this butterfish quickly. Please, butterfish. Butterfish, 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 butterfish. You're either a puppy fish or a butterfish because I don't recognize your behavior. Butterfish, fantastic. That's that out of the way. What does the butterfish say? Commonly used in the dishes around the Ferngill Republic. Nice, good, I don't need to worry about that anymore. That is another fish off of the list. We're very close, very, very close. Commonly used in dishes. Right, 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 right. Where is, where is Haley? She's up by the fountain. Hello, Leia, good morning, Leia. Where is Martin? Is Martin around? No, it's just Claire. Man, I get—I really need to get Martin's schedule down pat because we will never, ever be able to ply him with enough juice for him to be my friend at this rate. It'll take forever. Haley, Haley, my friend. Have a coconut. This is my favorite thing. Awesome. Was that the last one I needed? It was. It was the last thing I needed. Well, I still need to go give uh, the void egg uh, Harvey. Do I need to give you stuff, Harvey? Yeah, I can buy you coffee later. I don't need to worry about that. And Pam. Oh, wonderful Pam. Right, let's go make this bread. And then we'll go stop in at Magnus's place. Good old Maggie Resmodius. Uh, bread, 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 bread. So much bread. We need to make um, 1,667 bits of bread. Right, I can do this. I can do this from the counter. 999, please. Bread. Lot, lots of bread. Um, more bread. How do I... There we go. Uh, six... I can't count. Just do 500. Not 1,500. That would be terrible. Just just do 500. Is that enough bread? I don't know if that's enough bread. Just do... Um, so that's 1,000. Just do... Uh, just, just do... Just do 74. Five more bread. There. That's, uh, that's six. No, just do... Oh, goodness gracious, I cannot math. This is the problem with being a moron. Uh, you know what? Just make 50 more bread, because why Why the heck not? Just make 50. I bought a bit of extra bread, so... No, I think I need, I think I need a bit, I think I need a bit more bread, because... Oh, this is the power of not being able to count. Just make 22 bits of bread, because... Give me, like, ten extra bits. That That's enough. That's enough, right? That's enough. Put the flour away. We don't need that anymore. Also, where are... Yeah, my void essence. My wonderful void essence. Oh, hello, Sophia. What are you doing in the storage place? I mean, not that you can't be down here. It's just, is there really anything that interesting? Do you want to see the puppy fish and the giant water chest? Or the grubs? Or the undead fish? My zombie fish? Do my zombie fish intrigue you, Sophia? Well, they intrigue me, because I don't know how they exist, but... No, I need that back, please. I'm not an idiot. Well, I mean, it has... Hmm, hmm, real debatable. I have 99 bits of oak resin. I need to get 99 bars. Okay, so, you sell. Uh, and the tea leaves I need to sell for the collection, so they go straight away in there. Unfortunately, I need to rely on my own tea saplings for the green tea that I need to inevitably sell, but that'll come in fall. Magnus! Magnus! Where are you and your apprentice? I have eggs and void essence. May you use them immensely good. Hello, Morgan, another egg. For me, you're amazing. You're the amazing one, stealing my master's attention. Isn't that just amazing? So much pollen in the valley compared to home. Where do you live? Oh, where's home? That's what I just asked. Everton. It's a town in the mountains up north. I feel like we've had this conversation. Anyway, take that. Take it. Take it straight into your pockets and never, you know, talk to me again. No, I'm just kidding. If you never talk to me again, I'd be very sad, Razzie. Very, very sad. Can we... I need to go fishing. What do I need to... I got the butterfish. Um, I should probably do the chores around the house. Honestly, I should also... When can I get the void eel? That's just in the witch's swamp. Hmm. Do I need to do anything around the farm? I don't think I need to do anything necessarily around the farm. Aside from, you know, clean the place up because it's atrocious. Random pig. Why are you out here? Snom. 
Do you just love the outdoors? I mean, I can absolutely understand. I need to fill up my kegs. Oh, I need to make more kegs, right. I'm not going to pursue, pr pursue? pursue any other current strategy at the moment. I'm going to clean up the farm, get rid of these truffles, and then uh, see if I have 99 copper and iron bars. Because it is copper that I need, right? All the way up at the top, please. Yeah, copper and iron. Hopefully I have 99 of each because I need to make a bunch more kegs and then fill them up with an absolute metric butt ton of ancient fruit. Why is there a tree here? I mean, it looks decently in place. It can stay for now. Oh, copper. Nice. Hopefully that'll get me as much as I need. Give me, give me all of these bars. I need all of the bars. All of the bars. Give to me the bars. How many do I have? Oh, I need more iron. Well, that's unfortunate, but honestly, extremely expected at this point. All right, let's fill this stuff up, and then we'll probably make the kegs at some future point. I should honestly move these things elsewhere. Do I? I don't have anything up here, do I? No, I do not. I need to fix that. And at some point, I will. How many? I have 78 key gems. I should probably do stuff with that. Not going to worry about that right now. Where are the fruit? I need fruit. I probably want to put the ancient fruit in the kegs, and I probably want to start putting, like, salal berries or slime berries into the jelly machines. That's probably going to be the goal. I have this stuff. Give me just all three of those. That'd be easiest. And then we can put the truffles away over there. And then, do I have anything else? I have cranberries. What am I going to do with cranberries? I have all of these cranberries and then nothing to use them with. I suppose I can put them in the the, the other things. Sure, I guess. I really don't have anything to use them with. I'll probably put them in the Junimo shed. I have all of this stuff. All of this stuff and nothing to do with it. Let me fill up the kegs first. I'm probably going to put some berries in the jelly machines. Wait... Uh, wait, 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 wait. Am I that lucky? I'm that lucky. Oh, okay, goodness. Um, right, for the sake of my blobfish, I'm going to hold off on that. For the sake of my wonderful blobfish, I'm going to uh, turn those tea leaves into green tea. I'm honestly glad I remembered that, and I'm glad that, that keep, uh, the shipping bin keeps the last item that you sit put in there, because otherwise I would be SOL for that for, like, another month. Wait, hold on. Put the leaves in first. Random leaf. Go in there. And then we can continue putting more of this stuff in here. And that'll be wonderful for us. Oh, it's Sunday. I should probably go to Ginger Island. Because there might be there might be more ancient fruit to pick. Which would be a beneficial thing for us to do. Right. Okay. So these are all done. Which means I have a lot more ancient fruit. And I'm going to get even more probably in the next episode when those are sprouted. So let's go. Let me go to the island super quick, like super quick, like. Wow, lots of forage. We don't care about those. And then, oh, it's raining. Well, that's fine. Did we ever plant? Oh, right. We did plant more starfruits over here. Okay, I'm glad I remember that. Or, well, I've done it. But we also have a bunch of ancient fruits. Let me get these super quick. Fruit obtained. 267 more delectable ancient fruit straight within my pockets. Very nice. Once I have a bunch more kegs, which hopefully I'll be able to get my hands on right now, the iron should be done. And if I can make 99 more kegs, I am going to make 99 more kegs. And that's going to be incredible. Hopefully I do have enough iron for this. Because I should. I should with all of these have enough. How many, how many furnaces do I have from this? Or, well, how many bars do I have from all of these furnaces? It's going to be the same number. 32. Very good. That is enough of the things that I need. Oh, do I... Uh, I'm not going to have enough wood, am I? Hmm. That's unfortunate. Well, I'm going to get 99 of you. Go all the way up to 99. Uh, it would be quicker to do this one in reverse. 99 of you. Uh, fantastic. And then I probably want to move those furnaces to another place at some point. I'm not going to worry about that. Is there an apricot by chance in the cave? Oh, there 
isn't. No, is this? Oh, nice. Okay, good. Apricots. Because if I'm lucky, if I am lucky, which sometimes is the case, and it's not the case today. I genuinely thought Claire might be up at the top of the farm, but apparently she doesn't want to stop by the farm on Sundays, which is fair. I don't I don't have any expectation that people would uh, stop by the farm. I'm going to put the Salal berries in there. I can probably make an absolute metric butt ton of money with that over in that direction, but it's fine. Um, truffles, truffles. Put the truffles away. What, what else? What was put away? Oh, right. I have ancient fruit in there. Why do I have ancient fruit in there? Probably from, like, this uh, Sprite Spring at some point. Nice. More apricots. How much wood? I have 528. How much? I can only make 17. Well, that's not enough. I'm going to need to buy more wood, aren't I? I'm going to need to buy so much wood, aren't I? Kegs. 30, 30 bits of wood. 30 bits of wood. Does it really count chests that are attached? Interesting, I wonder if that's a mod. Hmm, if it is, I'm not going to concern myself with it. That's a lot of money from truffle oil. Oh, I should definitely sell some stuff at some point. I really, really should. I really should sell a bunch of materials. Oh, you, come here. No, just a bunch of rice. That's kind of useless. You know, just throw that stuff away. Um, row, right. Um, that's a lot of money. That's a lot of money. Do I want to? Do I really want to? I think I do. Did I put, did I put stuff in here? Did I put jelly in this? No, I didn't. Which means, here, uh, skip ahead, future me, just get rid of all of the jelly. Jelly be gone. My preserved jars are full of jelly, which is good for us. Very good for us. You know what? I'm just going to sell. I'm going to sell all of the jelly minus one for quick and easy storage. And then I'm also going to put this stuff back in there. And that'll be fine. Diddly doodle dandy. Very good for us. So I can make seven hundred, nearly $800,000 worth of stuff from just the jelly, which is nice. Very, very good. That'll pay for all of the wood that I need to get more kegs, to get more money, and to do a bunch of other stuff. So that's fine that way. Right. I want to get... While I have a little bit more time left in the day, I want to get uh, the crops, what crops I can, sorted for summertime, because that is going to be important. Blueberries. Do I not have... Oh, blueberries. I have blueberry seeds. Do I only have eight pineapple seeds? That's not a lot of pineapple seeds. I'm going to need those. I'm going to need those. I'm probably going to turn these into seeds as well at some point. Honestly, I might just... Hmm... I might just buy blueberry seeds from Pierre. I might also have to go to Ginger Island to get... Hmm. Questions. Questions, questions, questions that I... Hmm. What would be... What would be the best way to do this? You know what? I'm probably just going to sell those blueberries because I don't have enough time left to do blueberries from, like, the seed maker. So I'm going to sell these blueberries and then just buy more seeds. And I'm probably going to go to Ginger Island to see if I have any pineapple seeds stored over there, which will be fine. Do I have... Where are the monster crops? Uh, let me let me sell these blueberries as well. Here, into the thing, because I don't need you guys anymore. Monster crops. Summer monster crops. Oh, ancient fruit and seeds. Definitely want to do them. Fungus seeds are in fall. Slime seeds, not important. Uh, stock seeds. We have 19 of those. Probably put those... Mm, 25 days. Hmm. 12 days? Mm hmm. Hmm, 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 Fall. I'm definitely going to put fungus seeds. I'm probably going to put monster seeds in, like, the greenhouse and what have you. Probably also do void seeds as well. Lots of things to worry about. Lots of things. Because if I remember correctly, Salal berries work in summer as well. So I'm probably going to do... Hmm, more Salal berries. If I get rid of... Here, can I... I want to check something super quick. Because if I get rid of... Because I have three rows. If I do blueberries in the center one, because I'm not super fussed about maximizing the blueberry harvests. But if I go back to... Ginger Island, get as many pineapple seeds as I can. 
Right. I'm probably going to clear out the Salal berries if they persist. Otherwise, it'll be fine. Right. Mm, that'll be fine. And I can fill up more fern seeds in the greenhouses as well as the fungus seeds and stuff like that. It'll be fine. It will be fine. I'm not going to worry about that right now because it is the end of spring right now, and that's good. I need to fill up the greenhouse with that uh, fertilizer, but that's for the future. Not right now. Uh, the cheese. Hopefully the cheese is done sometime soon. Anyway, no more birthdays this week. I've completely forgot Andy's and Olivia's, or not Olivia's, Emily's and Lance's. I'll probably take someone to the movie theater at some point. I'll probably take Lance to a movie he really likes in summer at some point. Anyway, let's go to bed, see how much money we made at the end of summer, spring. $800,000, well, $900,000 $900, from assorted goods. What did we have to sell? We had the green beans, the ancient fruit jelly, and the blueberries, which is a lot of money, as well as the $100,000 worth of bread, which is pretty good, if I do, do say so myself for Mr. Key. Let's see, let's see, let's see what, let's see what the first of summer is looking like. Let's just, let's get a quick peek, quick tiny peek. What kind of luck do we have? We have lots of money. We have 950000 and a moderately decent look day. But that is going to wrap up summer. No, not summer. Spring of year three. This has been a good spring, and it's going to be an even better summer. Wait, can I plant starfruit in summer? Hmm, questions, questions, questions. Questions with no answers. We will work on all of the summer preparations in the next episode. So whether you watched this episode for 30 seconds or the entire thing, thank you so much for tuning in. And I will see you for summer of year three in Stardew Valley Expanded. Later.